Hey, Faith World. Thank you so much for tuning in to The Voice of Faith. As you hear this message, we want to build up your faith and build up your hope in the Word of God. Check out this message from Pastor Martin. Hello, everybody. This is Pastor Martin Hernandez here at The Voice of Faith broadcast. I want you to go with me again to Mark 11. Um, we talked about Mark 11, 23, having what you say and speaking to the mountain and having that mountain removed. In the next verse of this uh, portion of scripture, it talks about prayer and what we do in our in our prayer life you know we are all called to live a life of prayer and we can proclaim the prayer of faith and jesus teaches how we can do that in mark chapter 11 verse 24 jesus says therefore i say unto you what things soever you desire when you pray believe that you have received them and you shall have them very simple uh scripture but yet it's so powerful because you know, Jesus starts by you, by telling you whatsoever things you desire. You know, we all have a desire to do things here on this earth. In fact, there may be someone here watching right now and you you desire to be well physically. I want to talk to someone that, that's dealing with their physical body right now. You know, you desire to be well. You know, you're done going from one doctor's, doctor's visit to another. You're done hearing the same report that you're hearing from the doctor saying, you know, we're, you know, we could do our best. We could try to do our best. And, you know, how about you try this or how about you try that? That medicine's not working for you. How about we give you this medicine? We'll, we'll see you in another month and see, the, see what the progress of your physical body looks like. And, you know, you've just had enough. You say, you know what? I desire to be well. You know, this scripture is for you. And it's so easy to just apply this and appropriate your faith into this where your body can be made well because that's what the Word says. In fact, the Bible says over there in Peter's epistle, he says that, that though we were dead to sin, we live unto righteousness and by whose stripes we were healed. See, if God would see you right now, he would tell you, son, daughter, you're healed right now. Well, I don't feel healed, God. Remember what we talked about a couple of broadcasts, you know, feeling is the voice of your body. Your body will wake up in the morning and when the pain comes, your body will start to speak. And it's this, I don't feel well. Well, who's the I? Your body's telling you, you don't feel well. Your body's aching and it's in pain or it starts to throb or swell up here or swell up there. And, and your body will speak to you and say, see, you're in pain. See, you're not feeling well. See, you're, you're not 100% well. See, and, and, and you have to really locate yourself and say, okay, what is my desire here? Is my desire to live in pain for the rest of my life or is my desire to be made well? And that can only be done when you get into the Word of God and you find a scripture that shows you what your body consists of. And that is you are already healed. You are made well. You are normal. Amen. That, not based on what you see. You can't, you can't base on saying, okay, I'm normal, but then go back to the x-ray and just be depressed on the x-ray. You can't say, well, I'm normal, and then go back to your body and look at how your body's condition is. You have to make a choice. I choose this desire, and that is to be made well. You have to find the desire of God in His Word. And regarding to your physical body, you have to see that I am well because the Word says I am. I am well because the Word says by His stripes I am healed. I am well because the Word says that the same Spirit that rose Christ from the dead quickens this mortal body. My body is being quickened. My body's, my, 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 my body's youth is being renewed like the eagles. I am getting stronger and stronger, brighter and brighter, younger and younger. My body, my joints, my muscles, my ligaments, my tendons, my mind, my, my digestive system, my organs, my eyes, my teeth, my you from head to toe, it's getting stronger and stronger. Well, you don't look like you're getting stronger and stronger. It's not based on what I look. It's based on what I believe, and I believe that I am well. 
So how do you do this? You get the desire. What's the desire? Well, I want to be made well. Whatsoever things you desire, then you get that desire and you go into prayer. You go to God in prayer. God, your word says that I am healed. Your word says that by his stripes I was healed. That's my desire. Yes, I am the healed of God. And the Bible says that whatsoever things you desire, when you pray, believe that you have received. Believe that you have received. See, God has given you the faith to believe this. God has given you the faith to believe that the word of God is true. God has given you the faith to believe that by his stripes you were healed. So you must believe that you've received this healing in your body. I believe that I receive healing in my body. I believe that I receive the finances for my home. I believe that I receive the finances for my college tuition. I believe that I receive peace in my home. I believe that I receive. See, you have to believe that you receive. You have to believe that you are the healed and you have to receive that healing right there and then in prayer. And when you do, the Bible says, then you shall have them. Have what, what's the them? The desire. Regarding to this broadcast, regarding, you know, we're talking about your physical body. You have the healing. So let's just say you're battling with, with pain in your body. You see what the word says. You find a scripture that fits your situation. Or I should say it this way, you should get the situation and have that situation and look at the word of God and say, okay, word of God, we're going to change this because the word is so and the word is true and the word is powerful. And so I say that body, you are made well. And so, Father, in the name of Jesus, according to your word, that by his stripes I was healed. I believe that I receive my healing right now. And according to your word, I have it. And what happens is when you start to see what the word says regarding to that, enlightenment will come and you will start to declare that you are the healed. Why? Because you finally the manifestation is there? No. It's because you believe that you received the moment you prayed. And when you prayed and you believe that you received your healing, at that moment, you have it. And if you have it, what do you do when you have healing? What do you do when you have all your needs met? What do you do when there's peace in your home? In faith, what do you do? Well, if you have it, thanksgiving should start to come out of your mouth. Father, I just want to thank you that I am healed. Father, I just want to thank you that all is well in my physical body. Father, I want to thank you from head to toe. There's nothing missing, nothing lacking. My youth is renewed like the eagles. I'm getting stronger and stronger. And yeah, the poor old devil will want to try to talk and say, well, you don't look healed. You don't sound healed. Look at the x-ray. Look at the diagnosis the doctor gave you. I'm not moved by that devil. I believe that I've received my healing. I believe that I've received it 2,000 years ago and I received it now here in 2021. And according to the word of God, I have it. So I don't need to wait till I see a manifestation to believe this. I believe this right now. By his stripes, I was healed. The doctor will tilt his head and look at you funny like, well, why, well you don't look healed. Here's the, here's the diagnosis. Here's everything that we're telling you right now, what you have. Well, it's not based on what I have. It's based on what I believe. And I believe that I am healed. I believe I am well. I believe my mind is getting stronger and stronger. I believe my joints are getting stronger and stronger. And you know what happens when you do that? Your body body has to submit to what you say because the word of God is powerful. It's quick. It's sharper. It's able to change things. And when you believe that you have received your healing, your manifestation is right there, my friend. And Thanksgiving ushers in the manifestation. Thanksgiving ushers in the healing. Amen. Because that's how God sees you. You, you see, we live in this present world, but there is a spiritual world. And in that spiritual world has everything that you need to live life and godliness. And when you use your faith and you appropriate your faith in prayer, you go into the realm of the spirit and bring in what you are praying for and bring it here into this physical world that no man can do, no doctor can do, no bank can do, no one can do, but faith. And that faith is living on the inside of you.
So start getting into this word and start seeing what the desires are in your heart and appropriate your faith in prayer by believing that you have received them. And my friend, Jesus says, you will have them. And so I pray this broadcast has, uh, has blessed you and I encourage you just to start getting into this word and seeing what God has said regarding to your situation. All is well with your body, my friend. All is well with your body. It's not based on anything else but what God's word has declared. All is well. We love you. God bless you. Until next time here at the Voice of Faith broadcast. Thank you so much for tuning in to this episode of the Voice of Faith. We believe that God is going to do some amazing things in your life. And before you go, we always want to give you an opportunity to give so that you can be blessed. The different ways that you can give are on the screen. Also, if you need prayer, we would love to pray with you. Just email, message, or call the church. Thank you so much for watching today and have a blessed week.